This is TMUA 2021, paper 1, question 2. This question gives us the curve y equals x cubed minus 6x plus 3. And we're told it has turning points at the points x equals alpha and x equals beta, with beta being bigger than alpha. And we're asked to compute the integral of this curve between alpha and beta. Well, at this point, we don't know what beta and alpha are. So if we want to compute this integral, we need to know what these limits are. So let's compute them now. We want to compute alpha and beta. How do we do that? Well, because they're turning points, alpha and beta must satisfy that the derivative of this, the derivative of the curve is zero, which is when 3x squared minus 6, which is the derivative of y, is equal to zero. This occurs exactly when 3x squared is equal to 6, or equivalently, x squared is equal to 2, and square rooting this gives us x equals plus or minus root 2. Now, so these give us beta and alpha. Which one's beta and which one's alpha? Well, because beta is bigger than alpha, we choose beta to be root 2, and we choose alpha to be minus root 2. Okay, so now we've got our limits. Let's now just compute this integral. So we're given, so now to complete the integral of this between minus root 2 to root 2. This is now just a polynomial, and this is fairly straightforward to integrate. We just move the powers up by 1 and divide by the new power, which gives us x to the 4 over 4 minus 6x squared over 2 plus 3x from root 2 to minus, minus root 2. Now plugging in these limits, putting the root 2 limit in, it gets root 2 to the 4 all, all to the power of 4 divided by 4 minus 3 times root 2 squared, plus 3 root 2. And doing the negative limit, we get something similar. Well, what do we notice here? When you're trying to simplify this down. Well, we notice that the even powers of root 2 will cancel, because when you put minus root 2 in here, this becomes a positive root 2 to the power of 4. And so when you have this minus here, this term and this term will cancel, as well as this term and this term. So we're just left with these last two terms in each bracket, which simplifies down to 3 root 2 minus minus 3 root 2, which gives us 6 root 2. So the answer is F.